Hello scrappers, this is Jan with What You Make It and I am back with another fun technique that I think you're going to want to use in some of your mini albums or you could use them on use it on cards or even on your scrapbook pages. I think in one of my previous videos I told you I was working on a little mini album for my brother-in-law and this morning I was trying to find some sort of imagery that would would really be reflective. It's about a trip that he made to Honduras and so I was looking through some magazines and I found this really pretty picture of a rug. I think you can see there's um, some chickens and and some fish imagery on here but it was it's very um, typical of the Honduras um, experience but it's really thin flimsy magazine paper and I was trying to think of some cool way to use it and I decided that I would do an image transfer onto some packing tape. Yes, I know you're going to think she's the crazy girl with the packing tape techniques and I probably am because I personally want to share with you that I think office products are a scrapper's best friend. So to do this, you just need a roll of packing tape and what I have found is that for this to really work, it has to be something that was printed um, in a magazine or was printed. It doesn't work off of um, images that were out printed out on your your computer because that is a toner based print. This you want to for it to work. It is based on the um, ink coming free and what you can see here is that all the paper from the magazine is rubbed away and it's given me this really nice transparent imagery to work with. Very simple. Let me show you a couple that I've done and then let me show you the technique. This is off of an old magazine cover. Isn't that cool? And I wanted you to see that you really can get a, a rather large image if you notice up here, all I've done is I overlap the tape. And you see just a little bit of the overlap, but I think that that adds some really cool texture to this. So anyway, I want to show you how to do this. And I've taken an image from a magazine. I sometimes do this for titles and that sort of thing. It because the words become translucent and if you've painted the background or you wanted to put them over a picture you can they're transparent and so you can see through them and this is the one that we want to do now I've already pulled a couple of pieces of tape off of here and you just want to cover the entire image and for the most part, you want to try and avoid getting little crinkles in it, but I actually think if you like the distress look that this will be a really cool technique for you to use. You will begin to do it quite often because it opens up a whole new group of images for you to work with. Now, I have been told that if you take an image that you have copied on a copier versus an inkjet printer or something like that. If you've taken some pictures and and you have a copier, you've gone to your office supply store and gotten copies made, that this also works, but I have not done that. So I now have my image and the release agent for this is just some warm water and I put the image down in there and you want to let it soak for just a few minutes because that's going to be what gives makes the paper release from here. I already have one in here. Look at this cute little cameo. I'm also working on a Valentine's album so I thought this would be good. So after it has been soaking for a few minutes, you want to just begin to rub it between your fingers. I keep it down in the water and I just begin to rub away. Oh, 
and see I'm going to give you a really good example of why you need to do things differently than I do them. This, you'll notice that this is splitting. It's because I, I butted the tape right up next to each other instead of overlapping it. So you can learn from my mistake. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this because I still think I can put those together on a page and it be just really pretty nifty on my Valentine's albums. But I think it would have looked better if I had just gone ahead and overlapped the tape like I told you to do. So here you go. We're almost... It's actually kind of therapeutic. You can just continue to reveal the image. I think that may be my favorite part is watching the image be revealed. Now, if you have, the reason that I suggested that the first time you tried this that you use something like a printed magazine or something like that, I suggest that because you want to you want to have it as easy as possible on your first try time you try a new technique and okay when you're done just get a paper towel and blot your image off there as I was saying I suggest that you use a magazine the first time you try this because the the fact that the paper is has a coating on it it has a varnish coat on it it actually helps the paper release a little bit easier isn't that a fun image and I actually like where just the little bits of of paper are still clinging because it becomes less transparent there and when I put this on my page it's going to give it a distressed look but what I was saying again about using the the magazine the varnish on it will help the the paper release after soaking so it comes off a little bit easier but I have done this with dictionary pages I've done it with book pages those don't have a varnish on them and you just need to be somewhat committed to the process because it will take just a little bit of time a little bit longer. I'd let it soak a little bit longer before you start doing the image transfer. So that is my little trick or tip for today technique. I am going to be continuing to work on my my projects and as techniques come up I will stop working on the project and come do a little tutorial for you. My, my tool tip for today, I don't know if you've noticed this different surface that I'm working on but that is that is actually a Cricut mat one of my Cricut mats that I've turned over it's not sticky anymore it really isn't working in my Cricut and I've done everything I could to save it I've turned it I've cut in the middle it just they just aren't sticky anymore they do eventually run out but they make great surfaces to work on because when you put them down there's just enough sticky that they won't let your mat move around and if you you can do some cutting or some staining or whatever on them so that's my tip for today ladies i hope you're having a great weekend and i will be back next week with some new things to share have a great day